Hello students, today we will discuss about the combination of thin lenses in contact. So in combination what we find, we will find the focal length. Combination of lenses. Combination of lenses in contact. So in this lens, basically we refer thin lenses. Now we have a lens like this which is thin, we have another lens like this which are in contact with each other and we have a, this is the axis, principal axis of the lens, these are the optical centers, they are so thin that the distance is neglected compared to the distance where the object is placed. So this distance is neglected. So anything you can measure from the center or the point of contact. Now, if a, a point object is placed here, if a point object O is placed here, and uh, I want to find the image of this point object, then uh, I'll draw, draw this term. Suppose that a ray goes like this towards this, lens 1, this is lens 1 and this is suppose lens number 2. So this uh, ray out of infinite number of rays, one ray is approaching towards lens 1. So after reaching lens 1, it will get uh, refracted to the other side. So when it, uh, in the absence of this, I will consider that uh, this is absent. If this is absent, then this would have gone straight like this here. But because uh, this is present again, it will get bent and move toward the side. Somewhere here it will be formed. So the final ray will be somewhere like this. It will follow this path and meet here. And one ray straight, straight ray will move like this, following this, meet here. So where these two ray will meet, an image is formed. So this is the point image found here. Now. <coughs> If I talk about this first lens, then uh, the image is this image is not image of the first lens. The image of this first lens is somewhere here, because in the absence of this, this ray would have traveled like this. So this is uh, the say image IDAS, which is because of this lens one. So we can write IDAS is the image formed my lens number one. Now I will call this distance as uh, image distance is V dash. The distance is V dash. Now this image formed by the uh, lens L1 will act as virtual object for the lens 2. So interesting point is this image, this image will act as this image will act as virtual object. Will act as virtual object for lens number two. So now already we have this as U. Now let us uh, see what will happen to the. Uh, so this distance is. Uh, V dash, which is the object distance for this lens, and final image is formed here. So this is where the final image is formed. V. Now we have to suppose that the focal length of this lens is f1 and this lens is f2. Then what we will do? Now <coughs> f1 and f2 are the focal length of these two lenses respectively. Now from lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is 1 by f this formula to use two times once for lens 1 this lens and another for lens 2 so if you apply this for l1 lens i'll write 1 by v 
So where the image is found? Read as minus 1 by u, where u is there, u is u, is 1 by f1. We know that the focal length of uh, convex lens is always positive, so it is plus f1. And similarly, for lens 2, I'll use that uh, final image is formed at V. That if you just see here, the final image is uh, formed here. So it is V. Now, 1 by V minus 1 by U of the distance. Now, this image distance will act as object distance for this case. This equals to 1 by F2. Now, <coughs> now, uh, if I add these two, this will get cancelled and this is 1 by V minus 1 by U. If you add these two equations, this is equation 1 and this is equation number 2. So, add these two equations, what will get? We'll get? This will cancel out and these two will cancel out, this two will cancel out and you will get 1 by V minus 1 by u plus 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. <coughs> okay, now this is suppose equation number 3. Now, combination of lenses means uh, I want the substitution of the two lenses. So, in place of these two lenses that I have considered, this is uh, the two lenses having focal length f1, having focal length f2. I want replacement of these three two lenses by single lens whose focal length is of course f. Now, how can I write the equivalent value of this focal length? So, what is the real replacement of the combination of these two lenses by a single lens? So, what I'll do? If I use these two lenses separately, I get this equation. But if I say that this is the equivalent replacement, then for this, again I use the I will find the focal length that means in place of uh, these two lenses I will place a single lens over here at the same object distance and to get the same image distance which lens can do that suppose I place a lens over here L3 which can have the same object distance and same image distance that means whatever these two lenses are working together to get the image at V a single lens can have also the same image at V that means that lens is called the equivalent lens of these two combinations. So, if that is the case, if I have a lens number 3, this is lens 1, lens 2, whatever it is doing, what is doing? It is saying that the object is here and the image is formed here. This distance, this distance, object distance, image distance. If that same thing the single lens can do, U and V, single lens can do, then that is the equivalent replacement. So, if I want to write the equation for lens number 3 for lens number 3 what i'll write for lens number 3 what i'll write you can see here 1 by v minus 1 by u equals to 1 by f but we must also know that uh, <coughs> if i use proper sign then also i'll get plus plus over here there is no problem with that i'll get 1 by v plus 1 by u uh, always I will get that. I have not used the uh, sign convention. It is not required also. Then I'll read. This is equation number 4. If you see equation number 3 and see equation number 4, the left part is same. This left part is same. So, right part will also be same. So, from equation number 3 and 4, I can write I can write like this. So, this is called the equivalent focal length of the combinations. So, if two thin lenses are placed very close to each other, then this is the formula to replace these two single, uh, to these two lenses by a single lens of equivalent focal length. Now, let us see how it is done. If I have a lens of focal length say 15 centimeter 
another lens I have whose focal length is say 30 centimeter. Now I want to replace this tool by a single focal length. If I have a single lens, then what should be its focal length so that you have the same effect the object and the image here and the object and the image here there will give the same effect because uh, the lens uh, job is to create the image if these two are working together to create the image of this object here this single person is also doing the same thing so therefore they are called equivalent now how to find the replacement of these two now the replacement is done by this formula 1 by f is 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 it is like two registers are connected in parallel that way if you solve this this will be product of the product by sum that means this comes out to be f1 f2 divided by f1 plus f2 this comes out to be 15 into 30 divided by 45 15 3 is a 45 3 10 is a 30 the answer is 10 centimeter that means in place of using 15 centimeter and 30 centimeter two thin convex lens and you place them together if keep an object in front of it where it will form the image the same thing can be done by a single convex lens of focal length 10 centimeter by placing the object at the same place and getting the image at the same place okay